Oh, hi damn everybody, I'm Rooster. Oh my god, Jeremy, look, it's like, it's like computer inception. It's compception. <laughs> so we're going to play the Stanley <laughs> Parable. Ducky knows nothing Stanley. about this game. Nothing about this game. I've played it. I've seen it. It so. looks like a stupid fucking game you made me play. When no, he it's not the static the speaks. And you know what the object of that game is? He went and killed his shrimps out of his uh, fish tank, ate them raw, and then had somebody locked up in a cage. No, and then he it, kills it's, himself. It's not like the static speaks my name. Okay. Go ahead and begin. And shh. There's a small story. Or there's a lot of talking. Not nice. See what I gotta deal with? How y'all yeah. doing? Like, how y'all doing? Y'all never answer anyway, y'all stupid motherfuckers. Hey, dude, be nice to the audience. They, they never answer. Y'all never answer. Y'all, y'all like Jesus. Okay, your homework <laughs> for the day. Homework for the day. Answer Ducky. Just curse her out in the comments. I, w tell I her, wish you fucking would. Tell her... That she is the worst gamer you've ever seen, and I'll I don't, bust you up like DNA, motherfucker. Just tell her anything. No, don't. You this better is not the skip. Story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Four two seven. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. So this is what employee 427 <laughs> did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came. Oh, Stanley, look at it. Though he had been made exactly for this job, and Stanley... Shut your whore mouth! He was. He doesn't understand he is happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Uh-oh. Something that would forever change Stanley. Uh -oh. Something he would never quite forget. Quit uh oh -ing. He had been at his desk for nearly uh -oh. an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one like, had showed up to give him instructions, <laughs> call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I guess I gotta get my desk. I will. So this is where the game begins. The narrator stays around the whole game. You gotta use the mouse to look around, woman. Otherwise, you're you're gonna be all jacked up. Ducky does not play keyboard-based games, so... This is fucking nonsense. Let if me you wanna try there. the left button on the mouse, tries to open stuff. Or interact. The left button? That's what I'm pressing. Let it, me it, in! It's not letting you in. It's locked. Fucking dick! So if his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? What they went home! To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't want to go to the meeting room. And don't go to the meeting room. You can do. You can go any direction you want in this game once you find open doors. You just gotta get there. What does that say? It says, Ducky, you need to learn how to play keyboard games. <laughs> Jeremy, I don't play this stupid shit. I got a life. Wait, wait, what are you trying to say? Wait. That people that strictly play computer games don't have a fucking life. How, how dare you? How fucking How many of them married? Is uh, Pewdie married? Oh, didn't fucking think so. Is Mark married? Didn't th fucking think so. Jack? He probably goes and he's rubs a, a piece of rabbit hair on his dick. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you talk about Jack like that? His real name ain't even okay, Jack, I'm sorry, it's Sean. I'm fucking hollered up potato. His real name's Sean. I love that name. So. Where's yeah. the meeting room? Gotta I'm find bumping it. into stuff. Let me in somewhere. 420. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. Stanley around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> you motherfucker. Narrator. He's a rude motherfucker. The, I don't know who he is. The narrator's a little bit on the snarky side. Snarky. He's just <laughs> rude. 
food. Rude. Yeah. Where is them? Then y'all ain't gonna fucking let me go nowhere. I get uh, pressing the both fuck buttons. All right, Farmer Fran. When uh -oh. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Wait. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, I don't. That's no going back now. You stupid motherfucker in your meeting room! I thought he was punking me. No, I told you. Jeremy, I don't fucking believe him. Oh, well, that's fine. I guess I can't open none of these goddamn doors. You know, I'm fucking breaking. Makes me think that song. Know. Shut the goddamn doors. What was that fucking song? Can't get the there we go. Ah, All right, Sam's yes, not trying. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Nice, there are coffee cups Stanley everywhere. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <sighs> <laughs> Come on, what are you gonna do? Fucking leave the fucking that but room. Eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Guess I am. No, I'm not gonna try to open that door. I gotta listen to this fool. No, you don't. There's another open door. Oh my god, Jeremy. He's you gonna yell at me again. You can go any way that's available. Which one looks more interesting? Yeah. Uh-oh. Choices, choices. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> I wouldn't be in this fucking position. I was like, Give me a goddamn card so I can get the goddamn thing. This is a, where am I? I wonder if I jump or I die. I don't know. Try. But in his eagerness to prove <laughs> that he is in control of the story <laughs> and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one ending. I have a feeling it all ends with him dying in some way, shape, or form. All right, well, you're back in your office again. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to. You shut your whore mouth in there! It's my birthday! Mr. Memo. It must be my birthday! I'm gonna go. Let me. When Stanley came to a set of two, oh, you're gonna go on the left. Okay. He entered the door on his left. I did. Nothing smart has to say now, you stupid motherfucker. Hey, be nice. No, I'm He's not. He's telling you where to go, and you're just not listening. I just did listen, you dum dum. No, you jumped off the cliff. Oh, you motherfucker! I just went to the door on my left, just like you fucking said. That was before. Why it's so bright outside? Is everybody dead? Yet there was not a single person here either. Tip on not getting fired. Talk less. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Work harder. Hard worker. Teenagers. Space between the teenagers. Throw some ideas in the bin. <laughs> This looks like army management at its fucking finest. No, army <laughs> management, I don't even know where a pie chart is, sorry. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. They like to eat pie. Yeah, a um, uh, broom closet. Oh, look, a door finally opens. I bet not get locked in here. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back I saw it did, Stanley did, Stanley did. Good job. Go upstairs or downstairs? Oh, I don't know. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, what a good little sheeple. Sheep, you moron. Guess I didn't go fucking far enough. Guess not. Shit. Like they're in an old Western saloon executive bathroom. I want one of those. I bet you fucking do. I do. Why, why is that chitlins crying? Jesus. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief 
Who orchestrated this? What oh, dark yeah. secret was being held from him? <laughs> of course. What he could not have known mm -hmm. was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. That's a hard number. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Oh, no, absolutely not. She put in 666. What do I do? Somewhere behind his desk is a... That's a fucking chair! Well, move the chair. How? Do stuff. I don't know. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumb. You! You shut up! God damn it, Stanley! Him. The device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. I guess that's it. Shut your whore mouth! Stop crying! Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> Stanley happened to input the correct code. I don't know, I don't know who he is, but I don't fucking like him. Amazing. Oh, he stepped into the newly opened passageway. Go drink some tea. I actually don't think I've ever seen the ending it wants you to have. There probably is none. There, there's tons of endings. Everybody never listens. You're, you're the only one that listens. I killed myself last time. Oh, we're going to the fifth layer of hell. Hey, look. It's like you're playing Doom again. Probably help if you press a button. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't, didn't think of that now, did I? Yeah, I fucking did. <laughs> I can't press the button. Oh, big man. I'm going to try to press the button. How you did that? I, I walked up and pressed the button. I was pressing on the little clicker. You wasn't pressing well enough, I guess. Oh, this is making my, my wrist hot, this computer. My computer does that to women. Make them hot. This is a crappy computer, then. How dare you? Mm -hmm. it's, it's not crappy. It's overclocked. Be nice. I don't know what the fuck that means, but okay. It means it's sexier than my Oh, no, I was computer. talking about be nice. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> okay. Fuck you. Load. Oh, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. No, I don't. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think of himself, <laughs> to question the Heartburn. <laughs> Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Yeah, not for long. Can I go up now? No. There's no up. Once Stanley you go down. straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> Fuck your mind when control facility. The had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Fuck that. <laughs> Not gonna go that way then. Of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Good job, Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Some what matrix. horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? <laughs> well, you got a violent death you could always go to, you know, if you're... Not in a Star Wars. Why? When they're in the, uh... A little meeting Congress thing, whatever you call it yeah what am I supposed to do now I don't know probably press that button with the camera now the monitors jumped to life their uh -oh. true nature revealed each bore the number of an employee in the building Stanley's co-workers the lives of so many dead? individuals reduced to images on the screen and Stanley one of them eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Yeah, you ain't free. You got a boss that tells you what button to press. I mean, that's micromanage at its best. See, I told you, it's the army. What the fuck? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been really manipulated to weird, accept it blindly? <laughs> Go forth. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Never. 
It was yeah. unthinkable, wasn't it? Was yeah. it even possible? Yes. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I'm a hey, that ain't funny. Old people have strokes. Old people shit their pants too, and it's still funny. <laughs> I want you to remember that when I'm old and I start shit. You shit your pants when you wasn't old. Controls labeled with emotions: happy or sad or content. The fuck is this inside walking, out? Eating, working, <laughs> all of it monitored and still yet to see that movie. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. A price of four. So do nothing. You suck. I pressed it. I pressed it. it. This is a stupid fucking game. This game's awesome. I mean, this is not even a game. This is just stupid. Every game I give you to play, you say is stupid. Uh, cause it is fucking stupid. This game is awesome and you need to stop being sucky. It's not a game. This is nonsense. It's a lifestyle. Nope, I'm gonna go down here. Yeah, go kill yourself. I am gonna kill myself. All the kid cool, all the cool kids do it. I can't even say kid cools. Just, well, I thought it was death. Yeah, so did I, dumb dumb. Shows how much I know. Now, what am I supposed to be doing? Pressing Ooh. all kind of buttons? Hit three. I'm fucking trying, okay? Why is it not Because <laughs> you suck at the keyboard controls. I do. I can't get straight. I don't like three, though. You like, bye, bitch. I don't like that. It's not fucking doing nothing anyway. Probably go to these computers that say emotions and hit a button there. But why should I do that? I don't know. This is stupid! Boop. Look, there's a big blue screen. Go there. I'm gonna go kill myself real quick. Console disabled. Oh god, I'm stuck in here. You're done. I don't really, I really don't know. I don't know the line. I, I don't know. It probably yeah, up there. Yeah. Facility yeah. power. Maybe they go open door. Yeah, yeah, because you noticed that a long time ago, huh? You just noticed it when I walked up to it. Uh, doesn't matter. I noticed no. it first. No, I noticed it. Why the fuck you think I was walking over there? Because I told you to. He found the source of the retard. Well, you turned it off. Good job. Now what? I don't fucking know. Everybody's probably dead. Good flipping job. The end is not the end, right? Why can't the end be the fucking end? And a rising chill of uncertainty. What? Was it over? Nope, back in your office. Yes. He had won. He He's had defeated the machine. Unshackled no. himself Probably from right someone back else's office. command. Probably. Freedom was mere moments away. No, it's not. I would have turned it back on. Even as the immense door slowly yeah. opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where what? had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange Bowden hold? Yeah. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking. Can't see shit. I Perhaps his goal like open had not boy. been to understand, but to let go. Just like no go. I don't give a fuck what happened to my co-workers. I never ever liked my co-workers. Hey, what about like Whatever 420? Lives, he he was a chill was guy, right? 420. Who's 420? I don't know. He was your best friend, though. The only thing you stopped by his office and he's like, oh yeah. Stanley oh. Through the open door. You live in Minecraft? What is this? Maybe so funny with dinosaurs. Stanley felt evening. the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way. Right now. Well, this ending isn't happen. funny. The other endings are funny, but you listened. I I killed myself the first time, you dumbass. Yeah. So I didn't listen, you fool. Once. 
Oh my god, I don't know how many times I want to play this stupid ass game. Uh, I, I don't give a shit about what happened to my co workers. <laughs> You're so mean. I got an achievement. I beat the game. Good job. High five. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I sure didn't get an achievement for dying. You should. It's still loading. I wonder why the fucking end is never to end. Because it never loads. <laughs> minutes of my life and this is and I'm back yeah it's because there's more endings so this was the Stanley Parable we're gonna end this episode oh, here while Ducky good. runs around aimlessly no I'm not gonna and, listen to him no we're, we're, we're gonna record again power. then we'll, we'll just record another episode okay bye so, fuck you <laughs> <laughs> rooster out <laughs>